Hello friends, it's Miss Mel with Miss Mel's Vegan Kitchen coming to you today, which is Tuesday. <sighs> it's lunchtime and we are having, wow, it's really bright <laughs> compared to last night. Some of the same as last night, but I'm having some pomegranate seeds on top and some garlic bread. This is Odo's um, flat buns or something like that. So lasagna, spinach salad with cucumber, daikon, carrots, snow peas, and pomegranate seeds. Mm. You saw me make my garlic butter, so that's what that is, and butter. <laughs> So good. Oh my gosh, so last night I watched the video back. Well, this morning I watched last night's video. And I saw that I had like spinach on my shirt for almost the whole video until it fell. And then I noticed it. Oh my gosh. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> This one is special for summer. Hi, Seely. <laughs> it goes up my nose almost. It's snowing today, but it's really pretty snow. So beautiful. Cheers, my friends. Mmm. Mm-hmm. This one has corn in it. So I still can't eat it. I really do wish that a company that has stuff that he can eat would use the same base recipe for everything. Mm. If you've never had a pomegranate, you should really try it. It's a huge, um, I'm going to say like a Christmas ornament. It's really big. Does anybody do this? Put them on their toast? I love doing that. Like about that big. And it's so good. I remember sitting out the back of the building with my mom when I was a kid. And we would eat them. And we weren't allowed to have a white shirt on when we ate them. Because. <laughs> this happens. It stains. That was just from whacking it this morning to get the fruit out. Here we only can get them good ones anyway in the winter time. But 
but I can show you how to get the seeds out if anybody's interested in case you haven't done that before. An easier way, at least, to do them. <laughs> My mom and I, we never knew how to do it properly when I was growing up. So we would like cut it in half, open it, and peel all the membrane, and then pick all the, um, let me show you, those little doohickeys are called anneals, A-N-I-L, well, apostrophe, not apostrophe, that means ownership, like just S, I don't know. I don't know why I said apostrophe. What's up with that? Anyway. I knew what I was trying to say. <laughs> if I ever get merchandise, one of them has to be. I knew what I was trying to say. Or I know what I meant. <laughs> mm. One of my viewers, Angel, hi Angel, commented with a sad face, and I'm assuming, or at least I'm hoping, that it's not because my videos make you sad, but it's because I haven't said hello to you. So hello Angel, thank you for watching. <laughs> Hmm. I was thinking of showing you hmm. how I crochet little hand cloths. out of cotton. So you just need some cotton yarn and a crochet hook. These are fantastic. I make them in little rounds. You can do squares if you want for dishcloths, but I like them in little rounds because they're just easy to use. You can use them to wash your face. You can use them to wash your dishes or, you know, just clean surfaces. They're quite versatile. And they're more zero waste than ones that you would buy in the store. Because unfortunately, a lot of the cleaning cloths that we buy aren't 100% cotton. Most of them are like a mix of fibers. But if you get 100% cotton, once it's like really raggedy and used, you can put it in the green bin in your compost. Isn't that awesome? And I was also thinking that I would start crocheting a blanket. And just like happy sitting there watching me. Not necessarily always chatting, but I don't know about you. I find it really calming. Hmm. To watch someone do something like that. So I can definitely try it. And see what everyone thinks. Hmm. 
I'm getting such positive feedback. From everyone. On our Instagram too. Sweet Scarlet Sunflower, I want to say her name is. Hello. <laughs> She's been watching. Mm. And I love that people are telling me they're trying new things. That's the whole point of me doing this. Because mm. I'm a chef, right? So, sometimes it's hard for me to find something that I haven't tried already. Because I just love cooking. I love international cuisine. So sometimes I will just, like say if we go to a restaurant, for instance, Delina, which I've mentioned before. They are Mediterranean, so their veggie platter. Usually what I get is mujadara, just like my favorite thing. So we just asked her how she makes it, and she was like, oh my gosh, it's so easy. It's literally oil, lentils, rice, cumin. Salt, pepper, onion, and garlic, and caramelized onions. So, that's a beautiful recipe. I started making it. Uh, me. Then I get um, beans in like a tomato sauce, so I know how to make that. We grew up making that, but theirs just has a little bit different spices in it. East Coast spices. <laughs> Salt, pepper, and summer savory. In pretty much everything. <laughs> and then I would get um, falafel, which I know how to make. I'm not sure why I learned how to make that over the years, but I guess because I just loved it so much <clears throat> that I started to buy, you know, the instant boxes that you can get at the store. And then I thought, hmm, wonder if I can make this myself. So I just read the ingredients on the back of the package and started making it. <laughs> wow. Mm. And I also think that a big part of being a recipe creator is not being afraid to make mistakes and fail big time. <laughs> so what I'm learning now <clears throat> is as I'm creating, I need to write stuff down. Especially because I want to do a cookbook. So, obviously I have to write it down in the end, right?
So good. Oh, man. Tomorrow, we are going to see a new kitchen. We're going for a tour for a new client. Super excited because this person has been so positive. I'm a huge supporter ever since we started this journey. <laughs> when we were in the Telus Pitch Competition, they shared everywhere to try and get us votes because it was like a, a public vote, right? For the Voter's Choice Award, which by the way, we ended up in first place. <sighs> Didn't win the competition, but we got voter's choice. That means a lot. So, we're going to her house tomorrow. I'm so excited. <sighs> we need to get back into our regular um, work week and get some... We need at least three clients a week I would like to have to fill up the week. So, that Mondays I have off for my crochet class. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we cook. And then Friday, I would have for doing all my paperwork and everything. So technically working, but not working in somebody else's home, working in my own. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh -oh. Excuse me. So, um, I don't like to film in other people's kitchens showing anything because that's not cool, right? It's their own home. They shouldn't have, like, my home's different. It's my house. But... Um, what I like doing is sometimes just showing the thing that I'm making, like how I have it set up here. Sometimes it, so you can just see the stove that way, you know, I'm not showing anything secret details or anybody's house. So we'll see how that goes. It's not a guarantee. We'll see. <laughs> I'm not sure if our clients watch us or not, so. Um, you know, I wouldn't want them to come on here and see their house and be like, hey, you didn't ask me to do that. No, not cool. I wouldn't want somebody to film in my house without asking me. So, um, and I wouldn't want to see my house on something without knowing in advance that it was going to be on there. Mm -mm, I think I'd freak out. So today we are having our sushi. I have the sushi rice right there. I was thinking of making a video showing you how that I prepare the sushi rice. It's nothing major, but... You know, because we do it a little bit different than most people because we had a lot of extra stuff in there to make it more tasty. Sp I was going to say spicy, but it's not really spicy. It's just tasty. And then we are doing um, the tofu, the normal way that we marinate it. Tamari, rice wine vinegar, um, sesame oil, maple syrup, garlic. And we're good. And I'm going to do that now, but uh, that way it's got some time to marinate. <clears throat> Axel will be home probably around 7-ish, 7.30-ish. So we'll have dinner a little bit later tonight. So I'll do a, a sushi mukbang tonight. Da, 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 da. I love sushi. I love it so much. And I think... I might do some sweet potato fries, crisp them up in the oven so we can put that in the middle. Because when you go to a like Japanese restaurant, sometimes they'll have tempura sushi and um, the veggies are tempura fried, but I never seen vegan gluten-free tempura. So anyway, uh, excuse me. That's it, my friends. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you know when we put up a new video. We love you. Keep smiling and stay blessed. Mm -hmm.